Hey, I'm Paula. Today we're roasting Brussels sprouts, which is such a good way to cook them. If you haven't tried it yet, keep watching. And this is how to make dinner. Today we're gonna make some roasted Brussels sprouts. Seems to be that this year, everybody's deciding they like Brussels sprouts now that they've had them roasted. It's like a pretty, pretty good way to go. So I've bought two pounds of Brussels sprouts and I've uh, peeled and cut them in half. So the way to do that is just take the whole thing, cut the, the little end off and then take off just those few outer leaves that kind of fall off and then just slice it in half. Same with that last guy. And then the key to roasting any vegetables is actually to toss them in oil. I see a lot of people dumping them out on the tray and then throwing the oil on and kind of just tossing them a little bit, but you really want to make sure they're nice and coated. And I think you actually end up using less oil this way. So I've also got the oven preheating to 425 and you don't need much. You just need a little drizzle. It's all going to be evenly tossed in there and a good pinch of salt. That was probably like, three quarters of a teaspoon or so. And then just toss them up. You can get your hands in there if you want. It's just fun to toss a bowl. Oh, and shout out to our friends who just bought us a bunch of new ki kitchen stuff. So this apron and this butcher block uh, were birthday presents from our lovely friends. So thanks so much, you guys. And just throw the Brussels sprouts onto the tray. Make sure they're in one even layer. You don't want them piled up on each other or they'll steam. And you don't want steamed Brussels sprouts, you want crispy roasted Brussels sprouts. So they're going into a 425 oven for about 20 minutes and I'm gonna take them out after 10 or 12 minutes just to move them around a bit and do one final little touch to them. So we'll see you in 12 minutes. <laughs> Okay, so it's been 12 minutes. I'm just gonna pull these guys out. They're still not cooked through, but they're, they're getting a little bit brown and crispy. Um, but I wanna do one more thing to just kind of make them extra good. So I'm gonna scrape them back into the bowl. This is the, I mean, I normally would just toss them on the tray, but I'm trying to prove a point. It is way better to toss them in the bowl. So. We're doing, we're doing things the way we, we are supposed to do them. So they look really nice. Um, but just to make them a little bit extra special, I'm gonna toss in some pomegranate molasses so that they get this tangy, sweet, sour coating. And I was torn, I, have, I also have some really nice balsamic vinegar at the moment, and I was torn over which, which way to go because you could just as easily use that and it'd be super nice. And the reason we want to put it in halfway through is because 20 minutes in the oven, it might be a bit, a bit too long. There's a lot of sugar in this stuff and we don't want anything to burn. And if we just tossed it at the end, it would kind of just slide off. So we do want it to kind of cook onto the Brussels sprouts a bit. So we're, we're tossing it at the halfway mark. And then when you toss it in a bowl like this too, a little bit of the pomegranate molasses gets kind of stuck in under the leaves. So that when you bite into them, it's gonna be juicy, sour burst, which is really cool. So those are nice and tossed. I'm gonna put them back on the tray. Spread them out. And then they're going back in the oven for about another 10 or 12 minutes. So we'll see you then. Okay, so we're back and the Brussels sprouts are done. They look pretty good. They're nice and soft. They're actually really nice, nice and brown. And they're all coated with those pomegranate molasses. So that took about 22 minutes and I'm really happy with those. Next, we're gonna toss these with some other things and make like a room temperature uh, roasted Brussels sprout salad uh, that you can bring to your friend's house for dinner like we are tonight. Oh, they're hot. 
Mm. Mm. So good. So I'm gonna make a little dressing. So this is a bit of an alternative to your warm, normal kind of family dinner. Thanksgiving's already gone by, so we're not doing that anymore. But this is like a bring to your potluck, Brussels sprout salad you can do all through the winter months when Brussels sprouts are available and cheap. So I've got a bit of a dressing started here. I sliced up some ginger, about that much ginger. I put a squeeze of lemon in there. I'm gonna put a splash of apple cider vinegar. And I don't really measure that much, but however much cider vinegar I put in, I'm gonna add about double that of olive oil or any oil really, but I like olive. So it's pretty good. And then you know, add a pinch of salt. And I have uh, some segments of orange going into the salad. So I'm gonna use the juice that I squeezed out of the seg the middle part of the segment. I'll show, I'll make another episode with just segmenting oranges, how's that? But you kind of cut around the orange and then you've got this big hunk in the middle that you squeeze the juice out of. And I just put that all in with the oranges, but I'm actually just gonna dump it into the dressing and that'll sweeten it up nicely. And I'm just gonna use a hand blender, immersion blender to whiz this up because there's ginger in there and ginger is a pain in the butt to slice and chop and mince. So we'll just do it this way. Looks pretty good. Just taste it. Mm. Yeah. So ginger is really good. Ginger and lemon and these bright colors are, or bright flavors are so good with things like Brussels sprouts that are just really hearty and they kind of need to be woken up somehow. So that's going to go on. Uh, I'm just going to toss the Brussels sprouts with some orange segments here. Maybe not all of these. I'll save these for a snack. And then I have some walnuts, which I've toasted. Be careful when you toast walnuts or any nuts in the oven because they burn really easily. These are almost burnt, but not quite lucky us. So these are just halves, but I'm just going to chop them a tiny bit more. Not super small. I actually like big chunks of walnuts. Perfect. Throw those in. And then I'm going to toss in some dressing. So I like making the dressing in a jar also because if I have extra, it's really easy to just throw the lid on and put it in the fridge. That's looking pretty good. Kind of wish I had some parsley. I don't think I do, but some bright green would be really nice on this. And the last thing I'm going to add is some pomegranate seeds. So I actually roasted these Brussels sprouts with pomegranate molasses on them. So some actual pomegranate seeds are going to be nice, a natural match. And my kind of favorite way to get out pomegranate seeds is just to crack this guy open. Ooh, this is a good one. Really nice. And then just hold it upside down in your hand and just whack it with the back of a spoon. Looks like there's been a murder in here. <laughs> I got it all over my arm. And they just fall out. So it helps to have a big bowl because pomegranate juice is real messy stuff. So the bowl will catch most of the spray and the juice and you'll be good to go. So that's most of them out. I love pomegranates. And a lot of people don't eat the crunchy bit in the middle. I don't know, how do you guys feel about that? I'd love to hear your comments about pomegranates and do you crunch the whole thing or do you spit out the little seeds? I love crunching them, I would never spit them out, but I know it's a divided topic. So I'm not gonna use all of this. I think I'll whack the rest into another bowl for my orange pomegranate dessert that I'll have later. So that's it. Just gonna taste it. Mmm, super good. And this I'm actually going to bring to a friend's house and eat at room temperature because there's a potluck this evening 
and it'll be super good um, at room temperature. I'm gonna bring the jar of dressing just so that we have one last little bit to drizzle over and I might even pick up a bunch of parsley on the way and just scatter it over the top and everyone's gonna be really impressed and happy. So that's it. Thanks for tuning in and if you like this video please subscribe. Tell me how you feel about pomegranate seeds. Tell me how you feel about Brussels sprouts and tell me how you feel about this show in general. I'm having a lot of fun and I hope you like it. <laughs> so we'll see you next time. Thanks.